Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 11.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York. It is Friday, happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is April the 12th, 2019 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review and what a week we have seen with the dramatic sell-off across the board yesterday in the precious metals complex with silver leading that decline down about 2.5% on the day. Today, however, we did witness in some of the precious metals a modest recovery and some of the precious metals a pretty brisk recovery. We'll talk about that when we go to our pricing. But the key is to understand whether yesterday's event was a one and done, a, a one day event, or the signal of a failed rally, which really began on Monday of this week. My sense is that we were probably looking at a overdone scenario yesterday and that the dynamic sell-off was a one-day wonder so to speak. Today we saw all of the precious metals recover we, and that in light of a very very brisk and strong U.S. equities markets. Let's take a look at our current pricing. Gold had fractional modest gains today closing up only about 20 cents at 1293.50. Silver had a much more dynamic increase today, gaining about four tenths of a percent at 1493. Platinum also showed a nominal fractional gain at 895. And then lastly, palladium, which led the board today, closed almost a full percentage point higher, gaining $12.40 and closing at 13.45 per ounce. Let's take a look at our technical studies. This was certainly an interesting week in the precious metals markets with yesterday's sharp price decline across the board and today's subsequent recovery, fairly strong with palladium and rather meek with platinum and gold. Silver actually did gain about four tenths of a percent. We're looking at a daily candlestick chart of gold futures and the highlighted rectangle in yellow is this week's activities. If you recall, we talked about the fact last week that if we had an effective close above 1300, that would trigger a buy signal. This is Monday's candle here, and Monday resulted in a higher high, higher low, as well as a higher close than Friday's session, and we actually did initiate our long position roughly at 1301 and change. That was followed by Tuesday's strong continuation and Wednesday's continuation with all three days having consecutive higher highs, higher lows, as well as higher closes. But then yesterday that all changed and in a single day in relation to gold, we saw all of the gains that we accumulated over Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday going back into the ether, so to speak, with this dramatic decline of about $20. Today we had a very, very modest recovery. You can see that doji like candle here, but nonetheless, it did close up about 20 cents. It did not make a lower low. If anything, we can say that we have what's called tweezer bottoms. It's a candlestick pattern that simply looks for equal lows, and we're certainly seeing that today. And it does indicate a pivot, and after yesterday's decline, the pivot I'm looking for is higher pricing next week. Maintain your current long position, maintain your current stop, and as I said yesterday, depending on how the market trades over the next day or so, meaning Sunday's activity as it opens overseas as well as Monday here in the United States, I will probably recommend that Aggressive traders can go ahead and add to that position. Dollar cost average, we have one at 1301. And if we can get another one roughly in this price area, 93, 95, I think that that will be an effective way to add to our position. And traders, while there is a lot of talk recently about $30 silver and the scarcity right now of that precious metal, I still believe on a technical basis, it is the weakest of the group when we compare it to gold pricing, platinum, as well as palladium. On a technical basis of all four markets, silver is the only market to actually be trading under its 200 day moving average. That is this red line here. And in fact, that provided really definitive resistance today as the high of the day and 
the 200 day moving average occur roughly at the same price point. 1505.6, that is our current 200 day moving average. And the high today was 1506.5. So I really believe that we will see silver maintain itself under a bearish veil, so to speak. And I would look for lower pricing or at least a neutral slant to that market. And traders, obviously the same cannot be said when we look at palladium as well as platinum. This is a daily chart of palladium futures. The one thing that I can extract from this data is the fact that when we look at the 100 day moving average, and that is our blue line right here, what we can see is that although we had a dip into that price point, what we can say is that on Thursday that provided on a technical basis, a level of support. And today's candle was a $12 gain almost a full percentage point and it defined the candlestick pattern simply called a bullish harami so i wouldn't be surprised to see that also pricing higher next week and traders lastly i do want to look at platinum futures the one thing we have been talking about throughout the week is the fact that the ratio between platinum pricing and palladium prices seems to be contracting and getting closer and closer together we have seen that as platinum has been moving higher on up days and palladium moving uh, a larger percentage drawdown on days that the market sold off that's not the case today we had very very fractional gains in platinum you can see that from this chart we only gained about 10 cents so i'm going to put that in the unchanged column but what we have to note on a technical basis is that it is trading well above all three moving averages. So traders, as I spoke about yesterday, the fact of the matter is the dramatic decline on Thursday occurred and we are currently long from a little bit above this price point. I do believe that if in fact we are correct and yesterday's decline was a one day wonder, we can use this to our advantage. And to that end, I will send out a special trade alert recommending that we add to our current long position and take advantage of this price break if we're going to get, as I believe we will, higher pricing next week. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.